was ICTs for sustainable development in Asia Pacific. And uh, as you know, while we're looking forward, the RDF reflected also on what we have done in the past. So we reported to the uh, RDF on the implementation of the regional initiatives uh, during this uh, cycle. So in the last three years, we highlighted things that uh, were uh, of particular interest to the region and things that they had placed on priority uh, through the regional initiatives. Quite a lot of work has been done uh, in addressing this and even as we uh, uh, look towards uh, sustainable development, we, know, we uh, recognize that there is still a lot more work uh, to be done. So we're looking forward uh, to uh, what was discussed in the RPM in identifying uh, the new uh, RIs um, that we have uh, now agreed upon. Um, these are now going to be uh, finalized uh, over the, the next uh, period leading up to uh, um, WTDC. Um, this will go back through the APT uh, preparatory process so that to make sure that uh, we get a fresh new set uh, of R RIs that have now been identified in the RPM that we can run in run with in our next cycle. First and foremost, um, the region recognizes that the least developing countries, the landlocked developing countries, and the small island uh, developing states uh, still need um, help uh, in attaining um, the priority and key areas that they need. So first uh, regional initiative is uh, special assistance again uh, to this set of uh, countries that we have uh, in the region. And then uh, secondly, we, um, uh, we are, we're addressing um, ICTs for sustainable uh, development. So we're looking at uh, the digital economy uh, that is now um, upon us and how we, we, how we would be able to harness the benefits of ICTs to achieve uh, our goals uh, for sustainable development. In, in uh, addition to that, you know, we're looking at um, uh, inclusion, you know, how, how we, uh, we can address uh, this right throughout the region. As you know that uh, things are beginning to change, new things are beginning to happen, and uh, we need to uh, close the, uh, the digital uh, divide, and all this needs to be addressed as we move into uh, the new cycle from 2018 for the next four years. And of course, uh, we still address uh, under the third uh, identified uh, regional initiative is uh, the connectivity, because we know that without connectivity, no service, no uh, application can be offered over it. And this is well recognized by uh, the region, and that still remains uh, within the regional initiative. As you would uh, also know that uh, in the past or the prior cycle, uh, broadband uh, featured prominently. Uh, again, you know, we cannot rule uh, broadband out in our next planning cycle. Uh, we kn know and understand that as uh, uh, 3G now transforming to uh, 4G and again for 5G, infrastructure is important to deliver uh, the requirements of the new services that are now evolving. And with new services of, uh, evolving brings us to the fourth uh, regional initiative which again is policy and regulation. Policy and regulation needs to uh, keep changing, needs to keep catching up with the involvement ev of um, the evolution of technology. And now with uh, ICTs transforming the way we live, the way we work, the way we do things, it is important that policy and regulation uh, manages uh, how this is being deployed uh, within the member states. And it's very important with IoT now on the horizon, not, on, not only on the horizon, but it's now upon us. Um, yeah, it is um, important that policy and regulation is well addressed. Lastly, and not the least, we come to the fifth um, regional initiative. As you note, um, in the last set of uh, initiatives, we had uh, emergency telecommunications on its own. Now we're bringing um, emergency communications, uh, disaster risk management, and mitigation all into the one package because high on the global agenda is climate change and we are addressing this in the last regional initiative and it's important for the region because as you know the Asia Pacific region is so prone to natural disasters we get floods, tsunamis, uh, earthquakes, 
um, typhoons, um, tropical uh, cyclones. They don't come in small packages, they come in huge packages. And the region needs to put in place things that are affecting the nations as we move into the next planning cycle. And we need to do things that will um, you know, uh, work with, with uh, the member states within the region as they address all these issues that are affecting them, even as we move into the next planning cycle. When you look at ICTs, you know, it's cutting across all sectors. And um, you cannot say that any one sector cannot have ICT. It's now in agriculture, in health, in education. And for us to uh, focus on sustainable uh, development, we, we just cannot ignore ICTs. They are part and parcel of what we're doing to attain sustainable development.